Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. We're going to chat today about uh, are there potential side effects from taking cyclobenzaprine and naproxen together? Do we have to worry about interactions between the two medications? So, uh, real quick, as always, information, not advice. Talk to your healthcare provider before you make changes to your medication, lifestyle, all that stuff. So cyclobenzaprine versus naproxen, what's the difference between the two medications? Cyclobenzaprine is a muscle relaxer in the U.S., sold under the brand name Flexeril. Drowsiness is the most common side effect. Typically, it's indicated for use for two to three weeks, um, you know, for muscle spasms, low back pain, that sort of thing. Naproxen, on the other hand, in the U.S., is sold under the brand names Aleve or Naproxen. It is available in both over-the-counter as well as prescription strengths. Over-the-counter, usually um, 220 milligrams prescription, 375, 500 milligram tablets, depending on the dose. It is an NSAID, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. So it's used to reduce inflammation, uh, a lot of times from joint or um injury or pain, arthritis pain, back pain. Now, in naproxen, as with all the NSAIDs, we have to be cautious if you have uh, cardiac issues, uh, can put certain folks at higher risk of heart attack and stroke. And those who have had stomach issues, uh, NSAIDs are known to increase the risk of uh, stomach bleeds and ulcers. No major interactions. The two uh, can be used together. Uh, safely. Drowsiness has been noted from the combination, but that's due to the cyclobenzaprine. Real quick study uh, in, from the Journal of Clinical Therapy, 1990. Cyclobenzaprine and naproxen versus just naproxen alone. So just a small study, two groups of uh, 20 patients each with mild acute low back pain. So they were either treated with a combination of cyclobenzaprine and naproxen or just naproxen alone. So basically they found that um, low back strain benefited from the combination therapy um, and they seem to uh, recover quickly, uh, a little more quickly, the uh, faster resolution to the functional deficits. But the limiting effect was the drowsiness associated with the cyclobenzaprine. So um, it may not be the solution for everyone. Uh, the drowsiness would make it difficult to function during the day. We need to be careful, especially older folks, um, that drowsiness from the cyclobenzaprine could increase the risk of falling, uh, which could cause fractures. And then you got a whole other problem on your hands. So, But it does seem, uh, just for your standard acute low back pain or some other issues, the combination uh, does help people recover faster. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll put a link to that study in the show notes. Um, remember, always talk to your healthcare provider with problems, questions, concerns. Go ahead and ask questions in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these. And I do appreciate you watching these videos. Thank you.